Robertson found racing pigeons. James here. We got a lot of excitement going on here with these young yearling cocks because I just threw in about five hens. So, they've been in for about 10 minutes and now we're going to basket these cocks up and take them on the longest toss they've ever been on. It's my last ditch effort to get them ready to make a big jump for the first race. Just trying to see if we can make it to this racing season. our fingers. Hope these birds get back. Found racing pigeons. James here. We got some birds. Got them propped up here. Probably let them off right off this little stump here. A little bit of a drop off. <laughs> Look at this nice open area. Beautiful, beautiful morning. I mean, it's probably like 60 degrees out right now. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. We're gonna let them sit for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna get their water tray out and we'll get things going. Thirsty anybody? We got some water. Come on, come drink. Drink some of the agua. Get a drink, boys. You're gonna want it. All right, so while we wait for them to chill out, get their bearings, maybe get a drink, I'll just say, <laughs> I'm really nervous about this toss. It's about double what they've done before. They really haven't been coming home that great. So we'll just have to see how they do. I hope they do well. I've got a lot of nice birds there. Some great pairs. Hope they make it. You know, it's always nerve wracking when you get to this point. So if they can do this, this is gonna be about 60 miles. Um, they were supposed to have their first race at 100 miles. But that race was canceled. And so they're gonna get, they're just gonna go right to the next race next this weekend at 150 miles. So that's a big jump. <laughs> a few of them poked their, poked their beaks into the water, but they're not getting a drink. You guys not thirsty? You will be. Come on. If anyone has good tips for teaching your birds to drink in the crate, let me know. I guess, you know, I could just not give them water for half a day and then put them in the crate and fill it up with water and sure enough, they'll find it and drink. Maybe that's what I gotta do. 
So who do we got in here? This black one with the white flight right here. That one's off of Cup of Joe and Greek Iris. That small blue bark cock right there is also Cup of Joe and Greek Iris. This one is right there looking at us. No, he just keeps, he moves. Like that, like both those two a lot. I've got one cock in here from Griffin, one cock from Lone Star, one cock from Flyboy, one from 836, one from Tucson. Who am I missing? And I've got one off of Purple Greek. That's it. Again, gorgeous day. Could not ask for a more beautiful day. Just beautiful. So, hopefully that little motivation that I gave him by introducing some hens will kick in. <laughs> Come on, Cox. Make us proud. Look at that, we got this farm over here. This really is a beautiful setting. Look at that. Give them another few minutes. All right, I rotated their crate a little bit, so they'll just shoot out here. Let's go ahead and do it. Well, guys, good luck. I hope I see you all at home. There's some cute hens waiting in your section. Come on, don't disappoint them. Do not disappoint them. Right, you birds. Make us proud, okay? Come on. Make us proud. Come home. Come home. Oh, look at into the sun, my eyes. <laughs> I've lost them. There they are. Man. Training racing pigeons. Not for the faint of heart. Sometimes you have to look into the sun. Do all kinds of dangerous work. Not for the faint of heart. Well, that is the right direction. Keep going, boys. Keep going. It's interesting. I'm just getting a little bit misty-eyed. <laughs> oh, I do love my birds. Yes, I do. You get attached to them. That is fantastic. Oh, I love, I love pigeons. They are just fun. So smart. They have great personalities. Love it. All right, let's get back home, get to work. Hey, we got a bird home. <laughs> oh, guess I should have put the bath water away. Who is that one? <whistles> Looks 
like maybe Kevin or Max. Who do we have here? Yep, that is Kevin or Max. Which one? That is Kevin. Good job, Kevin. Go in. Good job flying, buddy. Good job. Now go inside and check out those hens. Come on. Okay, so Kevin is my first bird back. First. So, he broke away from the flock. This is my broken wing bird. Damn to the unknowns. Hey, sweetheart. You're so cute. We got poop on you. All right, we'll keep our eyes open for more. That's sweet 16. I think that that is actually bird that was paired to you. That might be the bird that was paired to Kevin. I can't remember if that was Kevin or Max's. I can't remember if that was Kevin or Max's mate last year. One of the two. Got another bird back. Who do we have here? Is this Kevin and Max? It's Kevin and Max. Those are the birds we have. <laughs> uh, our 2021 birds out of all the cocks those were the only two that weren't yearlings Kevin and Max are back alright Kevin and Max good job but where are all your buddies well I do not know what happened, but that's what's left of my old bird cocks. They came in one at a time. Something happened. I don't know what, but it wasn't good. And I lost a lot of birds. Sad, sad, sad. I'm trying not to think about it. I'm trying not to think about the ones I lost. I'm happy to see the ones that I have. I've got two, Kevin and Max, um, out of Quavis Hen and 836. Uh, the Stark Check is out of Tucson and Little Blue. And then the other blue bar is a Griffin and Aztec Turquoise. And Toby did not go on that toss. Otherwise, we would not be looking at Toby right now. <laughs> I guess I can't say that. But we all have observed Toby's um, commitment to daily exercise. And it has not been inspiring. Speaking of which, I might be willing to part with Toby, even though he's such a beautiful bird. Let me know if you're interested. <laughs>